Hello campers and welcome to Camp Indiana winter 2021. We are here at the State House Education Center to celebrate unconventional Indiana art. So we've been talking about this whole week and today we are going to be talking about Doug Jones. Doug Jones is super cool. He's an actor and a contortionist from right here in Indiana and he is a movie monster. So we're going to also be talking a little bit about the unconventional art of makeup art, uh, makeup artistry. So let's talk a little bit about Doug Jones. Doug Jones, who's born and raised right here in Indianapolis, went to high school here. He ended up going to Ball State University where he practiced miming and uh, his contortion and acting. He was able to pull all of those three talents together and he was the mascot at Ball State. Chirp, chirp. So he was uh, the mascot and when he graduated, he did a few acting jobs. But what you would probably know him from is the 90s classic Hocus Pocus. He played Billy Butcherson, the zombie boyfriend of the Sanderson sisters in Hocus Pocus. And Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies. Here's a cool fun fact. Doug Jones is coming back for the sequel. They're filming a sequel to Hocus Pocus that'll be out this upcoming year on Disney+. Plus. I am very excited because I love it. But that is what got him into this role as like a movie monster. Because of course you look, you think of Billy Butcherson and he's got all that zombie. He, his mouth is so shut and he looks like a big old zombie. Of course we he know that he is a friendly zombie. Uh, but Doug Jones went on to play a ton more movie monsters. Uh, he was became really close friends with director Guillermo del Toro and he played monsters in some of his most famous movies uh, especially Oscar winning The Shape of Water. Doug Jones is that big amphibian man but he's been monsters in other things as well and all of that he has had to undergo intense makeup put on his face on his body uh, Face, facial prosthetics to go on his face. Uh, it's a big deal. Doug Jones has said that he likes to act with every single part of his body. That's where his contortion comes in. It's bending his body in kind of weird, funny uh, places, like it, maybe if you're double jointed. I cannot do it. Uh, but he likes to act with every single part of his body. And uh, he has said that his dream role is not another movie monster, but he would love to play a dad in maybe like a corny Hallmark Christmas movie. So Doug Jones, he is an awesome movie monster. And we talk a lot about movie makeup, all of this fun special effects movie makeup. If you think of different monsters from movies, you could, there's some other people I'm thinking off the top of my head. Um, but the one we're gonna talk about today is quite possibly my favorite movie transformation of all time. Jim Carrey's The, 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 The Grinch. So, I personally have watched The Grinch several times this holiday season with my daughter. She loves it too. Uh, but Jim Carrey's The Grinch, he had to go through a lot of uh, training to not only become the physical Grinch, but to look like the Grinch. At times he would have to sit for five hours, stay in, or sit still as he can in the mornings to get all of that makeup put on him. So he will look just like the character that you think of when you think of the Grinch. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use uh, my makeup talent. I'm no makeup uh, special effects artist. I am going to try to turn myself into the Grinch. So we're gonna transition. Boop, boop, boop. All right, first things first, I am putting green Mayron cream makeup all over my face. This will cover up pretty much anything. It's covering up my eyebrows really nicely because we're going to put in some extra eyebrows. I'm going to blend that all in with a uh, just a disposable makeup brush sponge. 
I don't want to ruin my nice ones because this stuff gets everywhere. So I'm just blending in that green on top of my eyebrows, underneath my eyes, up along my jawline. Making sure I get all of those cracks and crevices. I'm looking pretty green, if I do say so myself. Next, I'm going to go in with uh, my Morphe palette here and just a cheap kind of throwaway brush. As you can see, I'm trying to make a face that would remind me of the Grinch. And that's where I'm going to fill in these lines. I'm going in with this green shade. You know, the Grinchy's got kind of like those jowls. So I'm putting in some jowls with that green eyeshadow. Once again, I'm just making some faces. You might be wondering, Miss Bailey, why did you start this video with green on your face? Well, it's because I already filmed it and it turned out it didn't record. So this is... Take number two of filming the Grinch's makeup. So I'm giving myself some exaggerated smile lines in there. And the Grinch, he's kind of got like a dog or a cat or a rabbit face. So I'm giving myself one of those. Some people, when they do Grinch makeup, they use a prosthetic, which is made out of liquid latex that's dried into the shape of kind of like a who knows or something like that here I'm just putting lines on my forehead uh like if I would scrunch up my face what it would look like I'm also checking a picture I found of some Grinch makeup that someone did online that's what I'm using as my reference It's always nice to have a reference. I'm putting those little crinkly crow's feet on my eyes. Next, I'm going in with my ColourPop eyeliner. This is what I'm going to use to draw out and kind of sketch out my brows. So as you see, I covered my eyebrows with the makeup. And beforehand, I put a little bit of Elmer's glue on there. That is a movie trick uh, to use to cover up your eyebrows. But I went ahead and uh, covered them with my Mayron cream makeup. And then here I am back with the Morphe palette shading green on top of those brows. I'm going to go in and make them a little hairy. You know, the Grinch has those big, big brows. I realized that I forgot to grab some lipstick. So I'm going in. I've got my two lipsticks here. And we're going to do this dark green lipstick. It's called Crocodile Tears. I love that name. And it's going to be used for my nose. It is eye and lip safe. So I could put that all over my face if I wanted to. I'm going to color in the top half of my lips, but I'm not going to touch my top lip to my bottom lip because that'll transfer on there. And the bottom lip is going to be a nice kind of pinky, peachy color. I'm going to let them dry. And when I come back, I'm going to be wearing a really cool wig. You know, if I'm going to be the Grinch, I got to be the Grinch. Put on my wig. Oh, and I did not do a great job of that. <laughs> Here I am as the Grinch. Thanks for tuning in. I would love to see your makeup looks. Bye. Welcome back. I'm not green anymore. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I would like to see for your project, I would like to see your own movie monster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post with our supplemental uh, information a uh, face chart. A face chart is a tool that makeup artists use to sketch out their ideas. So it uh, gives a where you want to put your eyeshadow, where you want to put these colors. 
you map that out all on a face chart. And I would love to see your face charts on social media. If we see some really cool ones, I would love to tur maybe turn myself into one of those movie monsters. And we'll be sure to put, post that on our social media as well, which you can find right here. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, and I'll see you later. Bye.